Hi, my name is Gina Fatzinger, and I've been going to New Life Fellowship for about three years. Um, I honestly always think about my testimony as being a little bit boring because I accepted the Lord at a pretty young age, and uh, I just kind of feel like I didn't have one moment in particular where I even really remember turning from unbelief to belief. Um, and I think for some of us that have maybe grown up in the church for the most part, it can feel that way sometimes. But I remember hearing from someone that if you've been saved from hell, it's a good story. And I do believe that. Um, and when I think about my journey with the Lord and all the things that he's brought me through, all the different facets of his character that he's revealed, I don't think it's boring at all. Um, I remember specifically like in middle school, uh, maybe for more than a year, just dealing with some really heavy depression. Um, things were kind of intense at home with parents fighting and, and at school I was very nerdy, very shy, which I'm sure is sh shocking to no one. Um, and was just, didn't have a lot of friends, was kind of alone a lot, watching a lot of MTV and VH1 and things that I probably shouldn't have been. Um, and, and just became very sad, very lonely, um, even started wrestling with a lot of questions about my identity, uh, who I was, uh, what I believed, just kind of seeing things on TV and, and also what kids at school were dealing with, the questions they were asking about themselves made me feel like I needed to ask a lot of questions about myself too. And I was just kind of constantly having this really uh, intense, oppressive inner monologue that was very confusing and, and very shame-ridden um, and that I didn't really feel like I could share with anyone or, or ask for help with. Um, but I just feel like every time that I was really struggling with anything, the Lord would ultimately provide the thing that I needed to get to the other side. He would provide the right sermon and the right people, the right testimonies, the right worship songs and scripture passages. And in that season in particular, it was just a sermon about prayer, about spending daily time with the Lord. And I was like, yeah, I can do that. I, I can skip an episode of Cheers or TRL or whatever I was watching at the time. And, and I can spend time in the word and pray. And I just remember that the Lord showed up for me when I would pray. There were just some really significant times where I could feel his peace and his presence so strongly. And he just kind of led me to a place of being able to say, I trust you, I take you at your word, I don't have to figure out who I am, the pressure isn't on me to ask all these questions and answer all these questions about myself because your word tells me who I am. And I don't feel like that was a one and done thing, that the clouds just parted and I, I never had questions again, but I feel like it was something that I had to actively choose and choose again, that I take you at your word, I trust what you say, you are who you say you are and I am who you say I am. But when I would do that and I would lean in even just a little bit, he would meet me right there and he would make it easy. All these thoughts that had felt so oppressive and so heavy and like I couldn't share them with anyone suddenly made so light. And I feel like he did things like that so many times. Um, I remember in high school struggling with some things and, and getting to a point in my faith where I felt kind of bored. I had read the Bible like once through by that point and I remember thinking, so this is it, like we just keep reading the same book over and over again, and, and this is the Christian life. But that's when he started to bring people into my life who taught me about the Holy Spirit, and that he's living and active, that he's working in our lives, and that we get to walk with him, and it's really this incredible adventure. I remember in college, struggling with some really intense doubt, um, just learning things in classes that I was having a hard time reconciling with what I would read in the Bible. Uh, but again, it wasn't anything that sounds super miraculous. He would just bring the right people to share the testimonies that I needed to hear. Uh, and he just showed that he was listening, that he was there. The word became alive to me in a new way. And so I just feel like all these things showed me. There's a line in a song that says, if you don't quit, you win. And I feel like it just showed me that if we keep leaning in and asking and seeking and knocking at the door, then our loving Father who loves us and loves to give good gifts is never gonna leave us out in the cold. He might not respond in our timing or in the way that we expect him to, but he's gonna show up and his grace is always sufficient for the season that we're in.